from TPS Turku, Kapu Kaku. So least surprising pick in the draft is in. Rangers won big in the lottery. They jump up from the sixth spot to second, and they land this player. Still back with Allen. That's uh, Rangers GM Jeff Gordon making the official selection. Capo Caco, number two overall during Friday night's NHL draft in Vancouver. And after the pick was made, we got this reaction from Rangers president John Davidson. He doesn't really have a weakness. He can play wing, he can play center, which is always a good thing. Anytime you find anybody that can play center, that's wonderful. But we'll see where that goes with coaching staffs and things along the way. Um, he can score, he can be a playmaker. A lot of times when you get both in a very skilled player that has size, that has speed, you go, whoa, this is pretty good. we got a heck of a player here. So th there's, there's, you, you try to look, a lot of times when you study players, you look for weaknesses. Uh, you don't see weaknesses here, when, especially with a number two pick. It's pretty exciting. And Prospects Camp, uh, Allen, is underway in Stanford. We bring in Dave Maloney, who was there today. He joins us on the MSG 150 Speed Dial, presented by Files by Verizon. As always, Dave, we appreciate it. Great to see you. What would you see today? Well, you, you know what? You walk away, and it's been a long time since the Rangers have been in a position to draft elite players. We saw it last year, starting with, of course, Kratzoff and Keandre Miller and Lundqvist in the first round. But when you get on the upper echelons, even of the first round, now you get a difference maker. And you can't help but be excited. I don't want to reiterate certainly what John had just mentioned. But watching him this morning, it's just his stride is different. His presence is different. It, this, this is a legitimate prospect. And I think when you look at that, we do have to remind ourselves that he is just 18. And he's coming onto a smaller ice surface. He's going to be playing against men, which he has been accustomed to. But on this little sampling this morning, boy, oh boy, he was certainly impressive. And as we've said all along this year, Billy and Alan, you know, there's a lot of good things coming on with this franchise, but the future looks just immensely wonderful. Boy, look how smooth just moving around right. the hands and everything, right? You say, like, certain little things will just jump off the page. That's definitely one of them. But other players, obviously, at the camp, did anybody else uh, jump off the page for you? Uh, Keandre Miller um, and Kratzoff. So Miller and, and Kako uh, skated in the first session, and then um, uh, Kratzoff was in the second session. Uh, Lundqvist, is a little, Lundqvist is a little quieter player. Defense that was taken uh, last year. Uh, but I'm very, very impressed with Keanu Miller. Uh, this is an athletic guy. And you talk about the hands that you just saw on Kako. His feet, and to me it's the feet. If a, a bigger guy can move his feet and is graceful with his feet at 6'3", 6'4", 6'2", you're on to something. And, and both Kako and Miller, to me, uh, you can't help but be wonderfully impressed with uh, the feet and the way they move around the ice. So there's... There's a lot of things, where, like I said, for the longest time without a first-round pick, you're going to these prospect camps, and you're trying to make stories out of late finds and free agents and things like that. And you go back to last year's prospect camp, and then you had uh, Heedle and Anderson and Howden and legitimate picks, and you begin then to see what it really means to have choices from elite destined players. Dave, also in attendance, uh, the goalie, Igor Shosturkin, mm -hmm. who comes over from the KHL. What was his day like? Well, it's a little difficult to tell, Billy, because there wasn't an awful lot of um, shooting and where he had to move. Uh, we did meet him on Friday night. You could tell he's got a presence. I talked to Benoit Allaire uh, after the skate today. He said he, he really likes the swagger that he has. Uh, he has uh, a really good grasp on where he is vis-a-vis -vis his uh, uh, professional career coming from the KHL to here. There's a sense that he wants to earn his spot, and this is the start of another career for him. So when you look at the Rangers' goaltending positions, when you talk about franchises moving forward, the Rangers are going to have some nice options here. And this guy's personality seems to be something that he's not gun-shy at all, and it'll be interesting how he seems to fare out. Now, again, there's going to be a little different uh, because of the dimensions of the ice surface right north american ice surface a little smaller so it's going to take time and but it sounds like he's perfectly willing to do what he has to do to earn a spot on broadway and before the draft the rangers still making moves uh getting jacob truba mm -hmm. in, in a really incredible trade uh, yeah. staying young though of course obviously another young player that they add but one that should make an immediate impact what do you see in what he can become yeah, that's a great clip right there good positioning size body he's got a bit of a mean streak and he's defending Drew Doughty. 
Uh, Dowdy, there's an elite when it comes to offense. Dowdy's probably one of them. There's Carlson. There's Latang. He may not have that, but this is a guy that's going to give you the 22, 26 minutes a night, coming off his best offensive season. Got a bit of a mean streak. There's all kinds of things. He, you know, he was ninth overall in the amateur draft taken by Winnipeg. Winnipeg has done a wonderful job of recognizing talent. And, boy, they didn't miss on this guy either. And, you know, really it is, the uh, again, the subject of the economics of the game. The cap world forced uh, Winnipeg to make some move. There were some personal issues vis-a-vis -vis his uh, fiancé and her medical career. So the Rangers just happened to be in the right place at the right time, and that's when you have assets, when you have cap space, you're able to acquire a world-class defender at 25 years old in Jacob Truba. Yeah, Truber's fiance would like to study medical school here in, in this right. country, and that was one of the impacts, uh, one of the influences on the trade. Dave, you were across the street at MSG for the Rangers draft party Friday oh. night. What was it like for you? <laughs> it was crazy. I'm telling you, the, the crowd, they were chanting they got your jersey, name, <laughs> and they were cra cra chanting his name a half an hour before we came on or before the draft came on, they booed every mention of Jack uh, Hughes. They booed, they couldn't get <laughs> Ray Shiro off the stage quickly enough. It was crazy, <laughs> crazy. But it was really something. And you know, you think in a city of 12 to 13 million, you're gonna find a couple thousand diehards. And I'll tell you, they were all there on Friday night. It was great, it was electric. And here's the hoping that the future's an ounce as electric as that was. It'll be a wonderful time. All right, Dave, uh, thanks so much for the perspective. <laughs> as always, we appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out our right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.